seem to be pals. It was a debate. <laughs> Not everybody landed punches like you did, though. It was <laughs> a debate. <laughs> so you don't mean it. It was a debate that the whole reason, literally, it was a debate. <laughs> That the whole reason, literally, it was a debate. <laughs> you keep saying that. All the debate. I Everyone understand. Travel to the debate. There were journalists there covering the debate. I am here, standing here on the northern flank. Where? Where? On the eastern flank, talking about what we have in terms of the eastern flank and our NATO allies, and what is at stake at this very moment. Say it again. What is at stake this very moment are some of the guiding principles around the NATO alliance. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a friend in need is a friend indeed. <laughs> okay, I, I, I first. What are you laughing at? Okay, so this time. We all watched the television coverage of just yesterday. That's on top of everything else that we know and don't know yet based on what we've just been able to see and because we've seen it or not doesn't mean it hasn't happened. But just limited to what we have seen. What did she just say? If I can ask you, Madam Vice President, President Biden has said that Americans will feel some pain for the sake of defending freedom and liberty. But there does seem to be no end game in sight. How long should Americans expect? How long should we be bracing for um, this really sort of um, historic inflation and some unprecedented gas prices? You still want to eat? No. Sure. Don't waste your time with anything else. <laughs> Let's just have some real talk. So, real talk, in this election, in this election, in the last kind of couple, I mean, maybe a couple months, certainly a few weeks, there's this whole conversation that's been coming up about electability. Focused on our campaign. Is, is America ready for that? No. no. That, well, the yes, they are. 